Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today I'm gonna to do a quick video kind of going over some of the benefits of a filament spool roller like this one here. Um, I did wanna make a note that you can actually print these if you just wanna buy the bearings. I ended up just buying this one uh, because it was pretty cheap overall. Um, but if it's a project you wanna to try to do on your own, that's definitely something you can do. In this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, some of the reasons why you might wanna use it, some of the benefits they provide, go into a couple cons, and then um, it's not really much of an install like I typically would do because it's literally you just use it. Uh, but I'll talk about kind of how to use it a little bit as well. Uh, if you have any questions about the process as I'm going, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. I'd love to hear your feedback. All right, so first let's talk about some of the pros of using a filament spool roller. Uh, the first one, and probably one of the biggest ones, is it gets the weight of the filament roll off the gantry. I mean, I think your uh, kilogram roll there is a couple pounds. Um, I know with the Enders, um, the frame is actually pretty decent, so you don't get much ghosting. But if you have a 20 by 20 frame that's not reinforced, like some of the uh, original CR10s and that type of model, uh, that extra weight up there can make a big difference, especially when you're doing a larger print. So being able to shift that off to the side goes quite a long way. Uh, the second advantage is it reduces friction on the actual spool and makes some of the retractions easier. Um, if you think about it, when you're, if you have the roll sitting up top here, you're just running plastic on plastic and it's spinning how it wants to spin. But when you actually move it over to uh, a spool or a spinner on the side that actually has real bearings in there, it spins much smoother or much cleaner on that just because of the bearings. And that takes a lot of the friction away. Uh, over time, that friction can cause uh, some of slipping basically on the extruder. Uh, so if you're starting to see some slipping there, um, that could be one of the causes. And then lastly is it kind of gives you the option to put the filament where you want. Uh, I've had a couple setups in the past where I had a shelf and then I had a shelf above it where I was actually mounting the filament. I just had um, one of the spool rollers up there and then just fed it down and it worked out great. And then another thing you can do with it is you can switch over to making a custom dry box. So I've got a dry box here that I use on occasion. Um, it's got it's actually meant for two spools as you can see here. It's got the bearings and everything inside. Um, overall, this thing works great. It has top feed and side feed. The issue is the cost. I think that was like sixty or seventy dollars. I don't remember offhand, uh, but I will link to it below if you're interested. Um, you can basically make something like that using uh, one of these or one that you make yourself and a like a little plastic container uh, for under 20 bucks, probably less, if, especially if you're printing your own uh, roller as well. Uh, so it, it gives you a lot of options there, which is great if you're in a very humid area. All right, so now let's talk about some of the cons really quick. To me, I can only think of two. Um, first one is obviously there's a cost associated with it, whether you print it or uh, just buy it. There is a small cost where uh, most printers come with some solution to, um, that works. Maybe not the best, but it does work. And then the second is while having the weight on the gantry kind of causes issues on occasion, it does kind of consolidate the footprint of the printer. Where if you're using an external roller like this or a dry box, you have to put this somewhere. So now let's say I put this here um, and then I have the filament coming off here. Now my printer needs um, this much more space, right? Uh, versus it being all in one spot. So if space is an issue, um, they can potentially cause some problems for you. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but overall, if you are having any type of ghosting issues or starting to see any type of slippage or anything like that on the extruder, I would really recommend looking at just an external roll. Um, or if you're starting to consider any type of dry box, um, I would use uh, buy one of these and just make the dry box. Uh, or if you really wanted to, you could just buy one that's pre-made like that as well, but it's more expensive. All right, so now I want to just spend a minute and talk about this roller itself and why I chose this one. Uh, very basic design, um, and it was cheap. Works out great, right? Uh, lastly is it's also adjustable. So you can um, change these screws here, just pop them out, and then you can shift this back and forth a little bit so you can account for different size spools. So it'll work with your one or three kilogram spools. Um, 
I guess the downside is it is small. It doesn't have any extra supports around it. And if you are trying to use uh, more than one spool on a dry box, you're gonna need more than one of those. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Uh, but overall, for the price, I think this was in the ballpark of 10 or 12 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, it's a really great addition and I'll be moving over to it here shortly. I actually was using it with my direct drive earlier. Um, I did want to make a note that with the direct drive system where it's feeding in from the top and not the side like the Bowden tube, uh, it is a little bit more tricky. Um, you can just set it off to the side and just let it go, but you got to worry about kind of how the filament is being ran um, just to make sure that you're not going to have any issues. Uh, typically, if you have a direct drive, it's better if you can put the spool above it and just let it feed down into it. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. All right, so like I mentioned, this is going to be a pretty quick video. I wanted to kind of cover this because I just bought it and I was playing around with it myself. And I know a couple of you guys um, in the community have strongly recommended uh, using these to some of the other community members. So I wanted to do my own type of evaluation and uh, do a video on it as well. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I covered or have any other feedback, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.